Exploring this abandoned prison was sure sketchy and definitely nerve-wracking, but it was also a massive prison with numerous cell blocks and different areas, making it quite enjoyable to photograph and document. In the end, it was all well worth the roller coaster of emotions to explore this huge, amazing abandoned prison. This abandoned prison was built back in 1968 on a hillside with almost 100 acres of land. It opened as a state correctional center that held some long-term prisoners, but the majority of inmates were serving short-term sentences. The prison contained over 100 different units, held approximately 1,000 inmates, and employed almost 400 guards and other staff. The most noteworthy areas of the correctional facility was the main control center with all the control panels and CCTV monitors at the very front of the prison. That was basically surrounded by several areas of different holding cells. This would have most likely been the area where the inmates would first come into the prison while they wait their security level and cell block assignment and where they would also receive their property and entitlements such as care packs, a mattress, and clothing. There was also a visitation room in this area that included stools on each side of a bulletproof glass so the prisoners could see and talk to their families and loved ones. Here's the layout of the entire place. Sally ports and blocks. These are probably the front gates. You can almost see the picture there. Let me see. Let's see, you can almost see the picture, almost like it's still recording. Look at that. These are the gates, probably the main gates to see when someone pulls up. Now, right outside of this main control area, when you walk in, here's a visitation area. As you come through here, this would be a kind of a holding area where the inmates would wait for their visitation. So the inmates would come through here. And as you can see, most of the stools are removed. But this is where the inmates would sit, talk to their loved ones. This is the main hallway that goes all the way through the prison. Straight run all the way down. And every single cell block is either off to the left or the right of this hallway. It just goes forever. Prison officials stated that declining inmate population in conjunction with the increasing cost of maintaining the aging facility as the primary reason that the prison was permanently closed in 2013. The prison has sat abandoned ever since. This is just one cell block of the many. This correctional facility had a wide range of inmates at various security levels, all the way from murderers down to petty thieves, but was mostly known for being a medium security prison. The correctional facility, which housed only adult male offenders, had pretty much all the amenities one could ask for serving any length of time in prison. There was a gymnasium, a barber shop, weight room, a recreation room, workshops, a cafeteria, outdoor basketball courts, handball courts, and even GED classrooms. The prison was also known for having programs to help inmates upon release, such as the GED program and supportive employment.
So this chart right here, this is inside the guard room and it looks like it has all the prisoners' names and their prison numbers. Look at this. George Salman Sampson. Do not engage. Highly dangerous. There's a button they'd push if they had trouble on the tier. Smoke detectors. This is where you'd be able to make a phone call, but they removed all the phones off the wall. This would be their um, names on here. Name plates. Cell numbers, bunk numbers. Door number. Here's the mechanism, the key mechanism for each cell. So they had natural light coming in from skylights up there. And then a TV. So this would have kind of been like the day room area. This is where they would all sit here and fight over what to watch for TV. I'm gonna go up and get a look at the second tier. Unauthorized area, inmates assigned to this area only. And then this is the view from the second tier. You can see the day room there a little more clearly. Showers over there. So these two are pretty cool next to each other because they still have shower shoes. Can't be stepping in no bare feet in one of these jail showers. You can imagine. Probably a care pack toothbrush. Socks and candy and chips. There's actually some deodorant and toothpaste. Beds and then look at this towels, jogging suit, still on the shelves. Now that's pretty cool. So, and then the one right next door, 47, has a cool locker. Commissary, bowl, commissary items. Let's see. Commissary menu, look at that. You can order your stuff off commissary. Some medicine for the ears. This guy was a tattoo artist or something. These um, doors here from above. So now we're standing above the, where the TV is in the day room area. And it goes all the way back over there. there each block I'm sure had their own mail the phone systems any conversation is subject to recording of course there's the rates <laughs> from 2013 probably 
And then if you look over here, this is actually the block with the inmates' names. So as you can see here, this chart would tell you what inmate is on the top bunk of 001 cell and what inmate is on the bottom bunk. And it does that through all of the cells. This area housed 150 inmates total. So here's the showers, there's uh, about three or four different cell blocks that are identical to this one. So there's another cell block, this was the E unit, there's another one that connects to it right here. Same exact thing, just about. It's all the plumbing from behind the cells. And a lot of these, they already removed the bunk beds out of. Yeah, all the cells in these blocks have the bunk beds removed. inside the small control room that's for these two different cell blocks. This is a nice photo going down this hallway. I'm gonna take this photo in a second. So I just left the, the E block and there's two more that are identical to it. 
There's several of these in here. They look all the exact same. And then here's the control room again. This is really cool right here. This spiral staircase inside the control room. It's really nice. This leads upstairs. Last time I was here, I took some pretty good photos of this. These are all cleaned out. I'll still show you what it looks like. Inmates are not permitted to talk with other inmates while using a law library. Violations may receive a misconduct and loss of library privileges. Look how disgusting that is. This one has a lot more decay than all the other blocks. I'm going to take a photo of this. So this is D block right here. This cell block is really cool. It's different than the others. There's a barber chair right here also. There's a second floor. All these are have the beds removed as well. Not sure if they got sold to a different prison or not, but all the beds were taken out of the cell block. upstairs this is what it looks like there's the showers and there's the same exact thing on this side got thrown from up here. Laundry. Call boxes. And the laundry's over there. This is the way to the gym. This is the gym. No contact during visit, so maybe they had visitation in here too. If you had good behavior, maybe. Here's all the controls. Open up the doors on this cell block, which is 
identical to the one I just showed you except this side over here has a cream tannish paint on the cells not the blue which is cool makes your photos a little bit different but as far as the layout that's the exact same and there's four total wings that look identical to this three of them are blue and then you have this cream one this is where the tools would be held here and then they had those paintings so they could tell if one of the inmates took one of them to use as a weapon I love the white cells and the white bars Do these still have the bunks in them? So I'm down in the basement right now. Not exactly sure what's down here. This room is decaying really bad. I think this might have been the cafeteria. This entire trash can is frozen. The challenge and the responsibility are yours. And this is the kitchen where they used to wash all the dishes right here, dishwasher. Big kitchen area. Probably looks like where they used to serve you your food, maybe. All the food would be in these hot plates. There's a lot of bugs in here. This is nasty. Let's see what's in this little room. Just an office. Nothing crazy. Most wanted correctional officers. June Looks like a little workout room. Took all the equipment out, but there's still a couple things left. You can see this is where the workout equipment would hang. Little gym area, it's really dark. Sun is starting to set. This looks like some type of shop room. I don't exactly know what they did down here, but I'm sure inmates used to work down here and work on several different things.
And that takes us to the conclusion of the state prison video from Abandoned Central. We hope that everyone enjoyed this video, and for more photos from the prison and our other locations, check out the website at AbandonedCentral.com. Also, don't forget, subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you don't miss any of our latest videos. And one more important thing, if you'd like to help support us in creating these videos, please donate by clicking the Super Thanks link next to the download icon. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you, friends. We are grateful for all the support.